On this video, you'll see a great game by Paul Curtis, where the Kettle Strap is born. Hope you enjoy. Hello, chess friends. On this video, we'll show you a great game by Paul Curtis, displaying for the first time what is now called the Kettle Strap. Hope you enjoy. Keres plays white with black. Edward Alamowski. This is a game from a tournament in Poland, 1950. Um, Paul Keres started with e4. c6 replies Alamowski. And now we are in the Karokan defense. The Karokan is a common defense against the king's pawn opening and is classified as semi open game, like the Sicilian defense and the French defense although it is thought to be more solid and less dynamic than either of those openings. It often leads to good end games for black, who has the better pawn structure. This opening, the Caro Khan defense, is named after the English player Horatio Caro and the Austrian player Marcus Khan, who analyzed it in 1886. Khan scored an impressive 24 move victory with the Caro Khan defense against German-British chess champion Jacques Mieses, a strong player, at the fourth German Chess Congress in Hamburg in May 1885. These two guys work together and give a strong edge to this defense. So, nice to know that. 93. So, we're moving to sidelines on the Karokan. D5, putting some pressure on E4. Knight F3, the two knights variation. This line was played by Bobby Fischer in his youth, but has since declined in popularity. White's intention is to benefit from rapid development, as well as to retain options regarding the deep pawn. After knight f3, black capture on e4. Another option may be to play bishop g4, pinning the knight. The thing is that after a3, bishop takes, queen takes, this is a positional variation, Bla has the option of playing either knight f6 or e6. Another chance for black is to play instead of capturing on e4, black might play knight f6, putting pressure on e4 twice. The thing is that uh, y might play e5. And another choice, another option for black is to play what he played in the game. D captures on e4. And here Keres play knight e4. Knight f6 play Alamowski. After knight e4, another choice may be to play bishop f5, threatening the knight on e4. And after knight g3, now the, the knight is, is hitting on the bishop. And perhaps black bishop should play here in order to exchange here. So after a3, there's no reason for the black bishop to move back, you know. Black will be losing tempo, so the best way is to play, exchange, but the white get the bishop pair. Anyway, after knight e4, black play knight f6. And here, Keres played queen e2. And there's a story that, uh, that goes with the move. After playing this move, Keres got up from the table. He started to take a look at the games and was standing behind his opponent's back. He was doing that when he realized that Alamoski has played and Alamoski played knight b day 7. When Keres saw Alamoski made the suicidal reply, his arm reached out over the Polish master's shoulder and carried out the move with the knight. Perfect gentleman that he was, the Grand Master couldn't help speaking the word that was by no means obligatory, mate. The move that Keres made was knight d6, checkmate, because this pawn can take the knight because the pawn is pinned by the queen. And so the Keres trap was born. What do you think? Do you like the trap? Do you like Keres trap? Well, hope you enjoy. I wish you leave the comments, likes, subscribe to the channel, invite your friend to subscribe and well, any advice for in order to improve these videos in English, let me know. So cheers all, see you later.